welcome guys this is data slash fun youtube channel today we will see how to do animated visualization with r for that we will use covid 19 data for doing interactive animated plot in our r studio for that please guys subscribe this youtube channel for getting latest update in data science and press the bell icon for getting latest video notification so let's see how to plot animated line plot so by end of this video you will learn how to do this type of animation plot in your R studio so basically the plot is showing daily cases of covid coronavirus like uh, confirm in red death in green and recovered in blue so first window is showing for china so you can see here on the 24th chan it started in china before that actually it started but in this data we have the data from 24th january so after that in india the major cases are increased in third 24 so we can compare the after two months later in india it will be it was started and uh, in united states it also started around the 9th april and it will be drastically increased and you can observe that china getting less 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 cases after the april 8 so in r we will see how to do this type of line plot for different countries like china india united states so let's open our our studio for plotting the covid 19 data we will use this coronavirus package this coronavirus package is available in r so you can search around this coronavirus package very nice package i'm just checking last five rows of coronavirus data so data is showing very simple format like first column is for date then province then country then latitude of that location longitude of that location type means there is three mainly type like recovered date or confirm cases the count of that daily cases so this simple data we will use you can see observe here the last update of this data is 12th may 2020 so this is the previous five days of before the data is updated so after that we will use ggplot2 package it's very nice package in r then dplyr for data manipulation gg animated for doing some animation of steady plot so first i'm just going to some data manipulation i use coronavirus data then this is a pipe sign select type the type column is here the type then select date column then select cases column and country column then after that pipe sign i'm going to group by country type and date then after that i will use pipe sign and summarize population underscore cases this will be the my new column and this new column contain the sum of cases by group country type and date just run it and see what is the new data frame so new data frame you can see here country type date and population cases so this will be the group by accordingly like country type and date in the column we have created population underscore cases for plotting the ggplot we first see this ggplot command i have used this data data date underscore wise then pipe sign ggplot on x axis there will be date on y axis there will be the population underscore cases group by 
the line plot will be grouped by type then color of that line plot will be on the type column and the color fill by the type column then after that plus sign gm underscore line this function is of uh, contain in ggplot2 package after that plus sign gm underscore point round bracket plus gm underscore area then plus gg title you can give any title for this graph i am just give here covid19 cases update the title should be in double code plus theme underscore bw there will be several type of theme you can use by your convenience i use here theme underscore bw plus ylab you can give any name for ylab i i have given here number of cases per day plus scale underscore x underscore date so basically our x on x axis there will be dates so you can decide the breaks in the scale by using this function date underscore breaks is equal to in double code you can give any day name number one day two day i have given here 10 day then plus theme axis dot text dot x element underscore text angle 40 so basically the y axis label will be rotate 40 degree angle h days h day just is equal to one just plot the graph So the graph is showing like steady graph. Command we can see here the graph is here, but this is not animated graph. Okay, so we want to this graph is in animation. So how to do? Very simple. I just added word command here plus sign. and transition underscore revel in bracket date this command is available in gg animated so that's why we need to this package gg animate so you can see i just added one function in whole command g transition underscore revel so just run it so you can see here rendering is started and it's showing the it will be show after the completing the rendering process so you can see here the animation plot is ready and it will be showing some movement in graph in red line red area is for the confirm cases and green area for the death cases and blue area for the recover cases okay you can see here, here is one option show in new window and it will be open in your browser and if you want to save this plot you can save by using this command anim underscore save give any name in double quote dot gif so by dot gif it will be save in the animation plot so next we just want to plot this plot okay this plot like different country wise we have the data for different countries as well so we just need to do some data wrongling process like 
I use this data frame, this data frame, and I just filter out some countries here by using the dplyr package. Filter is in bracket country is equal to United Kingdom or country is equal to India or country is equal to China and the whole this data will be saved in country underscore df okay so you can see here only the China United Kingdom and India country will be there in country underscore df and same command as above we will we will use here the command is very simple ggplot on x-axis date y-axis population underscore cases then group by date color by date fill by date plus geom underscore line plus geom underscore point plus geom underscore area and in this bracket axis fill date wise total I just don't want to this term it will be showing some error that's what i just want to remove this germ underscore area plus give any title in gg title corona cases in china india and uk theme you can put here any theme i just want to theme underscore bw plus y-axis label y lab number of cases per day plus scale underscore x underscore date so by this command the x-axis label will be on 15 days breaks plus theme axis dot text dot x element underscore text angle of that label will be 40 degree each chest is equal to 1 plus facet underscore wrap and this by this command the chart showing in different different windows like China India and United States so facet underscore wrap by countries countries mainly three we have filter here plus transition underscore revel in bracket date by this command the animation will be showing so i'm just going to run this so rendering is started so it's going to be done It's done you can see in China India and United Kingdom the graph is ready for corona cases with the different type confirm date and recover there is one option show in window and our graph is ready you can see here in Feb there is high spike in China after that the China is very much in control of the, all the cases but in india it is going to be increased now right and united kingdom is also very high cases right now going to be increased hope so it will be showing some positive numbers in coming few days it will be showing some lesser lesser numbers in few days so we will hoping for the same and hope guys you and uh, if you want to save you can save by this command anim underscore save and give any num name i just want to save by corona animated underscore plot underscore one and it will be save on our machine on your default dictionary so hope you guys understand how to do this type of animation plot in your R Studio, you can give any time says data and try this in your R Studio. If you have any challenges, then please write on this video comment box and please guys subscribe this YouTube channel and share with your friends so they will also get latest knowledge in data science and R programming. Thank you so much for watching.